Today's How to Build is on this friendly robot baseball team. So, this is Zipbot. You should have already built him. If not, click here. Here. Uh, the only thing he gets different for baseball version is this is two one by one round plates. And I've got a little putty there to stick it into his hand because his hand can't grab a baseball ball. Baseball. Not baseball ball. That's redundant. Uh, and then he can pitch like so. Next, Skullbot. Uh, I took off his, again, Skullbot. Click there to build him. Normal version, take off this piece. And then this is a uh, baseball glove design that I made up. So uh, basically this is a three by three corner plate, then one by two plate. Let's flip it around. This one by two plate goes there. This one by two plate goes there. Um, and you're gonna be doing this several times for all the robots. This one goes over there, and I gave him another one here, just so he'd have something to grab onto. That's not how I normally have him hold it, is it? Maybe I did it like so. You can play around with this to how you like it. That looks pretty good. He was the catcher, so he's off screen most of the time anyway. Uh, with Rock and Bot. Uh, his uh, little clippy hand can go around a plate like so and hold it. So this is just a red baseball glove. Two, three, four little hand fingers. Uh, Duckbot, he has trouble holding things so I've used animating putty to make it happen by magic. I made his brown since that's you know the color most baseball gloves are. Just fit it onto his arm like so. He's ready for catching. Or just, you know, fooling around because he's Duckbot. But he's not going to eat this glove. Are you Duckbot? No. Uh, these are two of the three losing robots. Again, click over here to see how to build them. This is a gray robot thing. Baseball glove. This is just a headlight brick. This is uh, the faucet part of his arm. Over there, there. This is sort of mouse spot. So I redid his arms to be sturdier because I was actually going to have to animate him. Uh, so this is a two by two plate there. Then this is uh, most of the baseball glove there. Another two by two plate on top so that this is actually a sturdy thing I can move up and down without it falling off like crazy. I did the same with his arm over here, just a one by two plate. And then I just stuck a uh, another one by two plate to make the glove look complete over there and now he's ready to wave around like a maniac. Um, all right, now let's get the robots that I actually designed from scratch to be on the team. Well, umpire bot is impartial judge but this is sort of bouncy twirly crazy bot so it's mostly made out of this flower piece so flower piece then a tall cone then two flower pieces uh, then some technic bits that I'll get to in a bit but his head is uh, one of these big sort of propeller pieces on top a flower on bottom a technic pin and a flower in the middle a technic pin why am I talking like that uh, then a cylinder on top of that and then this purple spinny cool disc from either Spider-Man or Dumbledore I forget which uh, they look very similar uh, and then uh, these Technic bits over here. This is a one connector. This is a five connector. This is a one connector. We've got some two long axles in there. That hole goes that way. This one goes like this. 
put this between these two flower bits and I gave him a brown baseball glove which just connects on there and he's uh, ready to be crazy flower guy and when he walked the way I did that was I would put more flowers on so he would sort of bob up and down and even when he's standing still he sort of bob ups and down the whole time so rewatch robot robots robots and look for him to see his two seconds of fame all right now umpire bot the coolest of all of this again he's not technically part of their team but he's nice and friendly and not evil so there you go uh, this big piece is from like the TIE fighter sets got a turntable down here big turntable center this on that then he's going to be this is a big 4x4 four four round brick. Let's tilt down. I built him pretty quickly. This is the old ATST foot. It was also used in some other Star Wars sets. Or ATAT -AT as well. Uh, then this is two 2x4 two plates on top of one another. You'll see that I'm mixing new and old grays because I don't care. <laughs> uh, this is a one by six brick. This is a wedge brick, opposite wedge brick, some corner bricks, and uh, two by two brick with a two by two plate on top. I'm sure the reasons for that will become clear soon. Well, let's do his arms. So his arm is this two by two with a uh, hinge or ball joint grabber over there. Same thing on that side. So then this is a old um, throwbot arm towards a bionicle arm with a Bionicle or Hero Factory fist. Same thing on the other side. He's got big fisty fists. And then uh, on top of the arm bits, some one by two bricks. That one's been chewed a little bit. Uh, all right. Now this front bit here. Let me take things off for a second. So this is a uh, one by two to two by two bracket. It's gonna go on the front. And we've got a two by two brick, a two by two plate, and then another one by two to two by two bracket. They fit together nicely. Then these, as you'll notice, are uh, part of these hinge plates. I'm gonna do one like so. The other one, just leave like so for a second. I say that a lot, like so. All right, then for the front of the Empire outfit, start with this plate. This is a six long plate, so it's basically a four by six plate, but those bits are cut off, which work nicely. This is a big corner wedge. This is a slopey corner wedge. Another slopey corner wedge. Wedge. I'm going to attach this. That's not right. How about like that? And then uh, if I clip this side in same but opposite. Yeah, that looks good. It's like that big padded thing that umpires wear. All right, going back here. Yeah, that, that we could fill that in with a plate if we wanted to, but not really in the mood for that. One by six plate across that. And then this bit on the top of his head is just these sort of tops of cars, I guess. And it's just a stack of four of those. Put a two by four uh, plate in each one to make the stack work. 
four of those. It looks like a uh, umpire's mask or just the face of an umpire robot. However you want to think about it. I, of course, think about it like a robot. So those are the two new robots we built today. And then these are the uh, other uh, six robots that we modified slightly to make them baseball ready. New robots, slightly updated robots. Baseball robots. Yeah.